What's going on everybody, FJC here back with another finals video. And today I have another discussion video for you guys where I want to talk to you about the current state of the finals and what we can expect for the future of the game. And before I start this video, I want to let you guys know that this is all in my opinion. So if you guys agree or disagree, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. But the reason that I want to talk to you guys about this today is because the finals player count and view count on Twitch is slowly diminishing. For the past month or so, I've been slowly paying attention to the Steam charts and the view count on Twitch. On screen, now you can see a chart which shows the player count for the finals for the past month and this chart doesn't seem too bad within the past month the player count has kind of stayed the same which isn't necessarily a good thing but it also isn't a bad thing but where we can see the drastic player count loss is when we take a look at the last three months for the game you can see the player count consistently going down until season two released for the game which caused an influx in players but after season two released you can see the player count consistently going down again and there's multiple reasons for that in my opinion Opinion, and I think the main reason of why people have stopped playing the finals is because of the non-meta change. Since the release of the finals, there have been two weapons for each class that have been considered meta. For the lights, you have the XP54 or MP5 and the LH1. For the medium build, 99% of people are using the F car with the exception of the AKM. And for the heavy build, it's the Lewis gun or the SA1216, also known as the heavy shotgun. Now these weapons definitely aren't as overpowered or as strong as they once were when they game first came out but i've said it multiple times about the finals and i'll say it again when you are not using these weapons in ranked or even in casual settings you can definitely feel it within your gameplay most other weapons compared to the meta weapons in this game feel very lackluster and you can definitely tell you're doing a lot less damage to your enemies and the best way that i can describe it is sometimes in the game you just definitely feel outclassed by the weapon that you're going against if you're using a non-meta weapon besides the meta weapons i think there's a lot of other factors that contribute to the player loss in this game and another major contributor to that in my opinion is the lack of advertising for the game for season two i have seriously only seen one advertisement for the game and my main reason for being so critical about the lack of advertisements is because embark promised that there would be way more advertisement for the game following season two like i said i've only seen one ad for season two and that was at the beginning and the discord quest in my opinion isn't a great form of marketing for the game embark stated that the discord quest should be used as a form to show the game to other people that may not know about the finals but when you can unlock the skin by literally just sitting at the main menu streaming your game for 15 minutes there's no point in showing the game to your friends now moving back to things that actually happen within the finals the amount of cheaters and the lack of banning them is starting to get absurd it's getting to the point where multiple days in a row i'll see the same exact cheater with the same name and no matter how many times i report them in a day obviously it's doing nothing and why this is so frustrating to me is because multiple times embark has stated in their patch notes that they've updated security measures and i'm gonna be serious here i think almost every time i've seen that in the patch notes the day after or the day of when i hop onto the game there's even more cheaters than before and it's to the point now where people are blatantly cheating and they're still not getting banned for it which is absurd and one of the last points that i want to mention to you guys today is the twitch viewer count as somebody who has streamed the game since its release it's clear as day that the viewer count on twitch is getting very very bad on screen now you can see the monthly average averages and it's kind of cut off in the picture but the green bar represents the amount of people watching the game and the blue line graph represents the amount of channels who are streaming the game and by the way the websites that I use for all these statistics are going to be in the description if you guys want to take a look at these for yourself so just after the game's release on December the 7th the finals averaged 18,156 viewers across 1,027 channels the day I'm recording this commentary we're about to be in the middle of April and the average stats for the finals are 1,160 average viewers and 219 average channels streaming. And you guys may be wondering why I'm so concerned and so passionate about this topic. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you'll know before the finals, I was primarily making content for a game called BattleBit Remastered. I'm not going to go into too much detail about BattleBit Remastered, but basically what ended up happening with that game is it had one of the best launches ever for an early access game on Steam. And yes, that game does have an extremely small development team of three people but my reasoning for comparing the two games is because both of them had extreme amounts of hype on release and BattleBit Remastered actually took it a couple of steps further by hosting Twitch Rivals events which actually showed more people the game but for the first two to three months of BattleBit Remastered's lifespan there was one gun that was constantly killing everybody and was super overpowered and that was the Chris Vector and why the two games can even be compared is because there was such a strong meta in the game to the point where people ended up quitting the game because 
because of it. This has 100% happened with the finals, whether you'd like to admit it or not. Maybe not for 100% of the people who left the game, but I'm sure majority of the people left the game because of the meta being so strong. And one more similarity that I can see between Battlebit Remaster's development team and the finals development team, when updates are released for the finals, it seems like their eyes are on the wrong prize. And what I mean by that is typically when an update is released for the finals, they tend to change things that don't need to be changed. And just to use an example, as of recently, the FAMAS recoil change, in my opinion, wasn't needed at all. And a damage change to the gun would have made much more of a difference. So guys, please let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the finals current state right now. I still have a ton of love for this game, but it's clear that the player count is depleting very quickly. And from a competitive player standpoint, the meta hasn't changed at all, making it practically the same exact game as it's been the entire time. And the removal of nukes or barrels actually made the meta even stronger by forcing teammates to stick next to their heavies as opposed to before where you couldn't necessarily be right next to your teammates without the fear of a barrel or a nuke flying at you and team wiping you guys. On top of that, there's an article that Embark released where they're limiting tournaments to $10,000 US per year. And this means if you were to run 10 tournaments, the prize pool for those tournaments would be $1,000. And if you were to run five tournaments, each tournament prize pool would be $2,000. Which to sum it up in one sentence, that's pretty freaking bad. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, everything that I talked about today is going to be in the description so you could take a look at it for yourself. And with all that being said, that's everything from me for today. I truly hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Much love.